Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the latest set from Edifier known as the Comfo Run. So this one is an open-ear wireless sports headphone. If you aren't familiar with what that means, it actually means this. So this part actually sits above your ear. Uh, they call it on-ear. So not, not covering your ear canal. It's not like this little speaker port is right over your ear canal. It's slightly offset. And that allows you to you know, accomplish two different things. One allows you to hear the music in a full frequency way because the there's a 16 millimeter dynamic driver. It's almost like a speaker attached to your ear, but it's offset from your ear canal. So you can still hear your surroundings and your environment and you still have a very nice awareness. It's sort of like a more natural version of TWS transparency where they're trying to pipe in the environmental surroundings. These let you hear it in a natural way because it's not blocking your ear canal. So that is the gist behind these designs and it basically allows you to hear music without blocking your uh, environment or losing awareness of things you know cars and other things that might they might want to be aware of or in your office when people say hey you know come up to you and try to get your attention um, these allow you to hear those things without uh, really um, losing any sound quality or losing that much sound quality versus in-ears or TWS or headphones. So like I said, OWS, open-ear wireless sport headphone, when you want to hear music and also want to hear your surroundings. And with this neckband style, this is when you want a wireless set that also has a secure fit for more active activities. That's kind of what this design really accomplishes. Specs, 16.2 millimeter dynamic driver, dual mics for calls, Bluetooth 5.3, IP55 for dust and uh, splash protection. It does connect to an app, so you do get some app support if it has two EQ settings, if you want to remotely power it off, if you want to turn on game mode. So it has a few things you can do. It's not extensive app support, but uh, I think they're working on it. 17 hours of playtime and codec support is SBC or AAC. So I think there are some advantages to, to this particular design. And I think Edifier did some magic on the base cavity or the whatever they call it, the resonant cavity or what the, whatever they call it. You know, without with with or without EQ, I think they actually have a very nice full bass response that has a lot of body to it. And considering it is an open ear and it has a full sound and, and the bass hits you like you would want in a sports set. I think for an outdoor, bassy, fun, full-bodied sound, I think they actually nailed that quite well. Slightly better than what Go Free did. And, you know, I think as, as an active set, something for sports, I think they actually nailed that, that sound signature quite well. The neck band might appear as less than convenient compared to the earbud style like Go Free 2, but there's benefits to it. So the neckband provides a really consistent fit angle and the earpiece locks around your ear. And they did a great job on the fit and optimal sound placement. So one of the things that was with GoFree 2 was, GoFree 2 was this little bit, just the ear. And the way it kind of fit around your ear and the size of the actual earbud, that wasn't quite the same. It was kind of a bigger, elongated version of this. So what Edifier did was, you know, use the neckband. The neckband locks around your neck. This rests against your neck. You got a consistent fit point here. This locked around your ear in a way that was very consistent as well. So you end up with two points of consistent fit that you could reproduce every time. And if you knew in if you felt it sliding off in a bit, you sort of knew exactly where, at what point it slid off. Maybe the sound was affected, but I think they did a really great job on getting the fit for most people that is going to sound optimal with their speaker placement. And again, as I said, with smaller on-ear pieces, it just feels more natural to my ears than Go Free 2. And Go Free 2 was actually pretty good, but it didn't really lay on my ears the way the Comfo Run does. And again, I think it's... I think they put it in the name. I think it's just a little bit more comfortable. The placement is just a little bit better for my ears uh, that they accomplished with Comfo Run. And yeah, it's kind of annoying to have the neck band, but I, again, I think there was actually a benefit to it. And those two points contributed to a slightly better sound from Comfo Run. Both sets are unique and, and they fit that use case, but Comfo Run sounds a little bit better, has better body to the sound. And it gives you a longer battery life at the same time. GoFree 2 had LDAC, but that wasn't much of a benefit in that design yet. I think as they refine their dynamic drivers that they're using and the, and the ports and the cavities, as they get that to have more of a resolute, resolute and detailed sound to it, I think LDAC will eventually get there. But for now, 
I think AAC and SBC is, is the perfect balance between sound quality and battery life, and I think Edifier really nailed that as well. So overall, like I was talking about, a basic fun signature, exactly what you want outside. Open, here, open ear inherits a bit of on-ear uh, staging, right? So if you're used to headphones and having stage that's a little bit wider and higher because if it's on your ear, the open ear inherits a little bit of that and it's pretty cool to hear it in that way. And there's also no need to boost pinna because it's not covering your ear. It's not inside of your ear canal. It's actually outside. So it actually uses the natural ear structure to take care of that just as you get in headphones. So again, inheriting a little bit from on ears, I think actually works out quite well for open ears and it's super confusing talking about on and open ears interchangeably and not getting confused or mixing the two up a couple disadvantages there's no aptX on this like I said it's AAC and SBC that may have been the trade-off between LDAC and AAC if we had aptX support but again that would have probably cut into battery life and it's questionable whether it would have sounded better the neck band isn't noticeable until you turn your head and then some of, sort of these contact points you start to notice them and I think the good thing is it doesn't shift the ear pieces, which is really the important piece. You just kind of notice that you have a neck band more if you turn your head, but it doesn't shift the actual sound or change the sound, which was, was perfect. And then proprietary charging cable. So this little guy is a magnetic, you know, something that I haven't seen in you know, probably a couple of years. So a lot of, a lot of uh, sets move towards if you were into watches or some of the other wearable technologies, you're kind of used to these two pin magnetic connectors i haven't seen one in a while so uh, interesting to see them again but it actually clips on to uh, that guy right there so you know not really a huge issue but uh, don't lose it and the 100 dollars price tag it really pushes into tws that have some of the same functionalities noise cancellation transparency ldac um it kind of really pushes you into you know better for calls so the price, it fits a use case and it does that use case very, very well. But at the same time, if you have a budget and you have some other you know, general purpose things that you need to do in your office or you're not necessarily dedicated to, you want to use it on travel or in your office or other things beyond sports, I think you know this, the price actually pushes you into territory that might be better suited on a regular TWS. But Again, that's just literally talking about a specific use case and executing on that specific use case very well versus a general use case of a TWS with that kind of functionality. So that is what I got on the Comfo Run. So thank you guys again for tuning in, and I will see you next time.